Who are you texting? She's like the first girl I can actually have a conversation with. Whoa, 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 whoa! Janet, did you run her? Yes, she's clean. Saturday's my little sister's quinceanera. You should roll through. I was really lucky to be able to populate this movie with some amazing female actors. I like her, Brian. Buddy. I was really struck by how well thought out and written the female roles were, and that really excited me. I did go through your wallet. I'm sorry. I am naturally curious. I play a girl who has never dated a cop before. I have never shot one before. So she doesn't really know the world that she's gotten into. Can you live without her? And if the answer is yes, don't string her along. For Brian, Janet kind of brings a sense of a family, a sense of love, a sense of intimacy. He loves her so much, it hurts. Marriage is really basic. You got to give it up all the time. It's the challenges of, you know, when your husband's a cop and not knowing when that father is coming back home, you know? Everybody here is family. You know I love you, man. I would lay down oh. my life for you, dude. My character has been married since he was like 18. They had a kid early on, and they love each other, and it's great. Hey, hey partner, what's up? I want to have a daughter, man. That'd be so cool. Just don't let her date cops. She's not dating anyone. OK, ever. <laughs> she probably assumed that dating a cop would be like dating anybody else, and kind of comes into this world, and she's surprised by the brotherhood and the kind of relationships that they have. Navy cop in here, we're all her family now, too. To Brian and Janet. She has to adjust to this really <laughs> tight knit world. And there's some hardcore stuff in this movie. Any opportunity to kind of show light and tenderness is, is very welcome. 